What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to integrate the two functions hyperbolic tangent and hyperbolic cotangent. So in order to do this we're going to use the simple fact that this function decomposes into the ratio of sine hyperbolic of ax and cosine hyperbolic of ax dx and now you will see this rational function here you'll notice that if we were to differentiate any of this we get the other so as we recall from many videos ago when we did a special kind of integral where the numerator is the derivative of the denominator we know that the result for this is going to be a natural log of the function f of x plus some constant c so we're going to use that formula that we derived many videos ago to, and we're going to apply it to this particular example. So now let's go through and with that. So we notice that the top is going to be exactly the derivative of the denominator, but there's a factor of a that is going to be missing. So let's start off by differentiating the cosh function. So we have cosh ax. Now this one is going to differentiate into a, so we're going to have an a at the front, times hyperbolic sine ax. So the only thing missing here is that a factor. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to place an a at the front, so right at the top of the function, ax, divided by cosh ax the x and now from that we know that we have to balance that out by placing a 1 over a at the front and now we can integrate this using that formula so we already know this is going to be in the form of 1 over a times the natural log of cosh ax plus the constant c and that's going to be our final result so now let's go ahead and do the next one so we know the cotangent function is the same as 1 divided by the tangent function ax and then the x and that's going to be the same as cosh ax divided by hyperbolic sine ax and now uh, we're going to apply the same logic as before we noticed that the numerator is the derivative of the denominator except there's a missing factor of a in it so we're going to fix that by placing it 1 over a outside the integral and then an a factor inside like this and then divided by hyperbolic sine of ax and then the final step is going to be to get this in the form 1 over a natural log of hyperbolic sine of ax plus the constant c and that's going to be our final answer for that so in the next video we're going to go through some more complicated examples of these two hyperbolic functions and we're going to see how we can apply them in a wider context to a lot of different problems as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more content from Let There Be Math. And I will see you guys in the next video.